these old 4570s can get a real nice patina on them. It's amazing how long that takes to get there. Ritual. Shot two. Wind starting to kick. I can't make a correction now. Shot three. the humanity <laughs> smoking last one will either be a group or they won't be that's a small ass target up there Five shots. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to uh, one minute. And now this is the 350 zoom. Let's see if we can see. Hey, I see some hits there. You can see three hits on that target at 600 yards. That's a pretty nice group. This is, you know, you're talking. But it uh, looked like the wind is grabbing, which means that they are taking them off to the right, which means i got to put just a hair more left in. See where that one went.
can't have that done a mess. Barrel's hotter than hell. There we go. A little bit dull. dull. You know, I, I had three shots at 600 that were about probably three inches, and then two of them blew right off the target. And it didn't seem like the condition changed at all, but uh, well, the wind just kind of. What do you think? Well, did you use a wind wizard? Well, the wind wizard—that's kind of neat. You can you can measure the wind really accurately, but you know you can't have the wind wizard in your hand at the same time you got your hand on the trigger of the gun. So, what do you think we should do? I think you should make your own thing. Really? Like I, what? I don't know. Maybe um, what are those things called? The little propeller thing. Right. Yeah. Wind. Those are really expensive, though. Yeah? Yeah, they are. Well, you've already spent your budget for the month, so I don't believe you can uh, buy one. Well, how about uh, the dollar store? I think the dollar store has anything? Ooh. They might. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the dollar store. So it would probably be better to have some sort of a wind flag. And I think the Dollar Tree might have what we're looking for. Let's see. Hey there. What colors? We got one. Got our propellers. So here's what you're going to need for the project: a piece of ribbon, a vice grip, a couple of shish kebab skewers. Took some five, five, six cases. These are going to be uh, kind of the bearing surfaces, and I just used a plumber's pipe cutter. Rat tail file, carbon arrow, some soldering supplies. You get your flux and your solder, silver solder, and propane, torch, and a hot glue gun. We'll clear up our work area in the kitchen. Oh, and this is a coat hanger because that's kind of hard to hold it in one spot. And I just bent it and made it a little bit uh, so it provides a little bit of tension. And the way that works is it's going to go on like that. And you take your case with the U in it and that will hold it in place. So you can solder it. I'm going to take a vice grip. If you put this right on the top of the steel, it's going to have a, it'll be act more like a heat soak. So what you want to do is you want to have it out here. Toes. Kitchen. Shooting show. That's going to be the T for the the ribbon. We'll do a nice.
nice little bead there. center this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take shrink tubing like I did on these and I might go over these these two areas here just to pretty it up a little bit. Just take that and slide it over the top like that. dollar store pinwheels and we'll see how they work up to Vernon. A little interesting trivia here. The uh, When that box is full there's about eight pounds of lead in there. I usually bring a couple of uh, containers filled with soapy water and when they're when they're full I reload. So a lot of times I'll have some from the previous shooting outing and uh, you can leave them in soap and water for six months and then take them out and throw them in the ultrasonic cleaner and they'll be just as good as new. But it's very important you get them in that soapy water quick. So what we're trying to do today is we're trying to shoot within a specific condition and those wind flags are very, very helpful. Okay. the condition I want to do them all in. Can't see it. You really got to be patient because that's too much wind right there. That almost sounded like a high head shot. try to shoot within the same condition for the rest of these. Too much. Look at that shift. Looks pretty good. Quite an advantage to using those flags. We use them all the time in F class. That's a let off. Slowed right down for the moment. Got a 
pick up a little bit. Not like that, though. Right there. Okay, that's five in a row on that plate. I'm kind of curious about the group. There's uh, four right here, and then you have one up here reading that uh, wind flag. Clean the bore, and in that period of time, everything could change. But, uh, different direction, too, right now. <laughs> My buddy Jim Steckel, I said, well, what do you do when the wind lets off? He goes, Mike, it'll come back. <laughs> and Steckel's been shooting F-Class for close to 50 years. change just a little bit. We want it to come back to this way. There you go, just like that. Not like that. Nope. Uh-uh. So that was the condition that we were shooting in. That's actually a little bit fast because you can see that the stand is blowing back and forth. But how many times have you had a, a calm and decided to take the shot? My gun right now is dialed for all of this wind. Let's go take a look and see up if there's a, if we can see the hits. So uh, this one didn't do as well. I could have moved, could have had it held a little bit to the left. And they're all on the paper here. You've got four here, and you've got one right up here in the corner that it cut the corner. But I think I can improve with that. Today's pretty extreme for, for wind too because when the treetops are blowing like they are, this is a, this is a considerable amount of wind. You know, you're 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 at 10 miles an hour here. And in a 10 mile an hour full value, these bullets are blowing seven feet from left to right. And they're also they're also dropping 42 feet into the into the target. So you can see how far out that is. It's kind of like a curveball. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm always learning something all along the way here. And I do these videos for record keeping and entertainment and enjoyment. But uh, I remember the day that Steckel showed me how to read a wind flag. And my scores all automatically were going up down at the uh, Alien Rifle Range just because of what he taught me. So I figure I'm passing on to you some of the techniques. Um, watching for that condition and shooting within that condition. If you uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer. And like always, have a good weekend.